Hey, thanks for stopping by. We really appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and turn on the notifications so you'll know every time we put out new content and it helps us get recognized. We really appreciate it. Hello there, I'm Tim Kaufman and today I'd like to share with you a short video, hopefully a short video, on what exactly a Mary's Mini is and why do we do this thing? Um, but before we get into that, let's talk about Dr. John McDougall and his wife, Mary. Uh, Dr. McDougall um, had a practice when he was a, a young medical doctor in Hawaii. Um, and what he realized is that a starch-based diet um, was ridding his patients of all sort of chronic illnesses from high cholesterol all the way to multiple sclerosis symptoms he was seeing people get better by basing their diet around starches um, and if you haven't seen any of his ted talks they're very fascinating about other civilizations successful civil civilizations um, that their primary source of food is starch based um, super interesting guy, super passionate guy. Um, he and his wife, Mary, um, are just, they're just amazing people and they're heroes in the plant-based community for all the work they've done to help people and promote a plant-based lifestyle. Now, at first glance, you might say, potatoes and starches, isn't this the food that makes people fat? Well, a lot of times uh, we associate with a starch diet as people that are overweight, but actually nothing could be further from the truth. This is actually my wife uh, lost 90 pounds eating primarily a starch based diet with her starch of choice being white potatoes, in this case, red potatoes. So if you go to Dr. McDougall's website, which I totally suggest because there's a wealth of information there, along with free recipes and all sorts of free uh, resources that can help you along on your journey. But if you go to his website, you'll see this article, and this is basically what I'm gonna be talking about. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of a neat story. I'll let you guys take the time to read it so I don't have to take time in the video. But basically in the early 80s, uh, Dr. McDougall and his wife uh, for 10 days, they ate potatoes and greens. Um, they did get a little bit bored with their food, but what they noticed is they both lost uh, 10 pounds and uh, they felt great. And that was kind of the beginning of their love for starch. Uh, so before we talk about what exactly a Mary's Mini is, I think it's super important to talk about what the goals of a Mary's Mini are. Um, and then we'll talk about exactly what a Mary's Mini is. So first of all, uh, the goals are quite simple. Um, the first thing that we're trying to do is reset our taste buds. Um, whether we're just new at this or whether we've been plant-based like myself for the better part of 10 years, uh, sometimes we fall into bad habits and we get a sweet tooth. Um, and over time, when we eat these high palatable foods, um, our taste buds kind of are set to the norm. Um, so I know when I don't have sugar for a long time and I eat an apple, it tastes very extra sweet to me. So one of the goals that we're trying to do is to reset the taste buds, uh, make plain food taste good again. You know, if you're eating hot fudge sundaes every day and then you have a piece of broccoli, obviously the broccoli is not going to have a whole lot of flavor because it's what you're comparing it to. So it doesn't actually take too long for your taste buds to get knocked back down to where they belong. Uh, the second thing we're trying to do is um, if you've been stalling, maybe you've been plant-based for a while, and you have a few stubborn pounds to lose, this is a great way to break a plateau, kind of break your, your diet up a little bit, to maybe shed some of those unwanted pounds that just seem to hang on forever. Um, also, we're trying to get better habits that surround food. Um, and I think what's most important about this is the food preparation. Uh, when we do this, we have to be very specific on how we eat. So we really have to be disciplined in how we prepare the food, which we'll get to in a few minutes. And lastly, um, it forces you to eat mindfully. You know, about halfway through this, um, I'm going to be honest with you, you're going to look at potatoes and say, I'm hungry. And you look at the potatoes and you say, yeah, but I'm not that hungry. And what that does is it forces our minds to start looking at, are we hungry for food or something delicious? 
Or are we really not hungry and we're just saying that we're hungry? So it really forces you to mindfully eat. If you're not hungry enough for a potato because you're bored with it, then you're not really hungry, are you? You just want something delicious to entertain yourself with, basically. So what are the rules? And I use this word rules loosely. Um, the rules are as follows. First, you choose a starch. Um, now this is probably the most important thing because what you want to do is base your next 10 days um, or some people do it for seven days you want to base it off one particular starch and that starch is going to be the same every day breakfast lunch and dinner so for example if you choose potatoes then that's your starch uh, potatoes is going to go with vegetables which we'll see in a minute if it's sweet potatoes then it's all sweet potatoes if it's rice then it's all rice if it's quinoa it's all quinoa but the idea is not to mix and match you pick one and you stick with it until the end next after you choose your starch and um when you're choosing a starch make sure that it's actually something you enjoy um because it'll make this go along a lot smoother next you're going to choose your non-starchy vegetables now these can change daily so for example if i choose the potato um, i could also have brussels sprouts broccoli cabbage um, and there are many more non-starchy veggies that you can actually plate with your starch of choice i um, mean this can change you can change it every day you can change it three times a day but the key is you don't change your starch then thirdly we're going to prepare our food now I'll tell you in a minute, I'm gonna give you some tips at the end of this if you hang around for them. Um, pr when you prepare your food, prepare it big. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. If you batch cook, it makes life so much easier. You don't wanna be making potatoes three times a day, but you can cook enough potatoes to last you four or five days. It'll save you a lot of time. And actually, um, it'll save you time so you, have, can, you can do other stuff that you enjoy. So prepare your food and cook it in a big way so you can prep it for yourself and then lastly um i say jazz it up uh, put a little ketchup a little mustard hot sauce barbecue sauce whatever you like spices nutritional yeast soy sauce liquid aminos coconut aminos uh, basically anything that doesn't have uh added fat and oil in it will be great uh, just to kind of jazz up your plate i put in there jazz it up lightly because um this is not supposed to like be barbecue sauce with a tomato in it, or I'm sorry, barbecue sauce with a potato in it. Um, use your use this stuff sparingly just to make it so it's not torture to eat the stuff. If you go on Dr. McDougall's site, you'll find this. If you just type Mary's Mini, uh, you'll find these rules. And basically, this is another way to say what I just said. Pick your starch, choose your veggie, prepare it, and use your condiments. Um, and then there's a second page to this. They give you some examples of what to do. Now, if you notice, this is actually an updated version of the Mary's Mini, and they have fruits added in here. And so if you do a little bit of reading, you'll find out that that fruit is one serving. Um, so you can't eat three bags of apples. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about the fruit thing in a minute. And I'm gonna talk about my suggestion in a minute, um, but you can very easily go on the website and find these things. <clears throat> okay, so what are some examples? Uh, right here, I have some examples. Um, actually, I just went, because we eat very similarly to this. Uh, so it wasn't hard for me to find some meals that I had. And um, you can see I have mashed potatoes, I have some steamed potatoes, I have baked potatoes, I have some kind of a water sauteed potatoes with some veggies mixed in. We have some air fried potatoes. And at the lower left, you'll see a whole oven full of potatoes I'm getting ready to bake. This is super useful because you can fill the racks of your oven up, bake them all off, and then put them in the fridge. You can either eat them like that, warm them up and eat them, or then from there you can cut them up and put them in the air fryer and then dress them up a little bit with hot sauce or whatever you prefer. So I wanna leave you with some of my tips because I've done this personally, um, and I'm just gonna be real with you. So first of all, um, we thrive in the plant-based community on sustainability. We usually stay away from what we call diets uh, because diets aren't sustainable. But we make an exception with this. 
this is a short-term thing. Um, you totally, it's, it's healthy enough that you can actually do it long-term, but we're going to do the short-term. So the significance is, is you can do anything for a short amount of time, right? Um, this is seven days, 10 days, whatever you decide, uh, but you can totally do this. And so since it is a short-term diet, just keep in mind that there's an end game to this and you're just going to, you know, just blast through these 10 days and um, it's going to be here and gone before you know it. So that's, that's the first thing. Just keep in mind that this is short term and you stay with it because it'll be over before you know it. The second thing, the idea of this is to keep it very simple and very boring. I know that doesn't sound exciting, but that's the idea of this. If we can get our food leveled back down, it's going to help us in the long term. It's the best way to get the most results out of this is don't over spice your food. Don't, you know, slather it up with all these sauces. You really just want a basic, plain and kind of boring meal. Okay, preparation is the key and we already touched on this. Um, if you don't prepare your food, you're going to prepare to fail. Prep is key because um, it's what's going to keep you in the game. It's what's going to, you have like two seconds to decide what you're going to eat when you come in the house and you're hungry. If you open the fridge and there was no potatoes ready, it's going to be really hard to stay away from all the junk food. Okay, the next one be honest with yourself. This is huge for me because I'm a food addict. Um, so you have to be honest with yourself. Everyone screws up. Everyone makes mistakes. If you, maybe you even forget that you're doing this and you grab something and you eat it and you're like, oh no, it's super simple. Reset the clock and start over and just start over all the way from the beginning. If you don't do that and you lie to yourself, you're just going to keep cheating and cheating and cheating. Really strive to get your seven or 10 days full through and get them done perfectly because you will feel better about your success in the long run. Next, this is a big one for me. This is a starch based diet, not a condiment based diet. What I mean by that, it's real easy to go real heavy with the ketchup and light on the potatoes. I love salsa. I love sriracha hot sauce. You just want to put enough on there to make it palatable. So it's not torture. So you don't want a potato floating in a bowl of barbecue sauce that defeats the whole purpose, right? Go easy with the condiments, just a little bit. Next, by the time you're done with this, if you're not bored to death over your food, you probably did it wrong. The idea is towards the end of this, you want to be sick of the starch that you're eating. Now, it's not just because we like to torture ourselves. It's because we're really trying to get these habits back in and really trying to determine, are we hungry? If we're hungry, we're hungry enough to eat the same thing that we've been eating for 10 days. But if we're not that hungry, then we're really just wanting to entertain our palate. And there's a huge difference. So here's a couple more. Um, I think, yes, that one I already did. Okay. Now this is, um, I strongly suggest the potato or the sweet potato mini. If you're trying to lose weight or break a plateau, you totally can do rice, quinoa, uh, corn. Um, but if you look on the calorie density chart, these things are a little bit on the higher side for calories. Personally, uh, my success usually comes by how many potatoes I eat. Sweet potatoes are another great one. Um, for some weird reason, I tend to get more sick of sweet potatoes. And I love sweet potatoes. I probably like sweet potatoes better than white potatoes. But for some reason, after about five days, I get really sick of sweet potatoes. Um, so I found the most success on just white potatoes. When I say white potatoes, I mean red potatoes, Yukons, or russets. Um, I feel like that's, you're going to be more successful on that just because of the caloric density. So basically you can eat, you know, five pounds of potatoes for well, you know, around 1500 calories, which is great. Uh, when you get into your starches and stuff, you have to be careful because there are definitely more calories in rice 
than there are potatoes per pound. So the other thing is, um, although McDougal say you can have a serving of fruit, I strongly suggest seeing how long you can go without that serving of fruit um, for multiple reasons. And I'm gonna try this myself. I've never done the fruit before. But maybe let it go till you're three quarters of the way done. Um, and maybe that can be a way to, to have you stick in this um, instead of quitting. But if you're really concerned with weight loss, it's not that there's a lot of calories in fruit. But again, the idea is to keep this basic, plain, and boring, to be honest with you. So um, hold off on the fruit if you can. And my last tip for success is that you can totally do this. This is a very short-term thing, and it's really just a series of decisions and good choices. Um, this is not that difficult to do, and by the time it gets hard, it's almost over. So I just wanna tell you guys that I am a food addict among a whole bunch of other addiction problems that, that I've wrestled with my entire life. And I know for a fact that you can do this if you really set your mind to it. So best of luck as you uh, embark on your Mary's Mini. I hope this video was helpful to you. And by all means, please go to the website and you can learn more details. And there's a whole bunch of uh, frequently asked questions um, and a whole host of resources. So that's all for today. That's the Mary's Mini. I hope you liked it. Until next time, have a great day day.